Welcome back to Vivietti. On the last episode, we managed to get the uh, Labisio key. We saw uh, Felice go completely off a rocker again. Uh, we found the sledgehammer, and we also got a small key that got us another chess piece. And we just placed four out of six of the chess pieces in this room here. So now we have to find out where the sledgehammer is used, and there was a wall. I think in the basement area where we can use it to break down the wall. Uh, we're going to go explore for that now anyway. So. Hmm, where would it be? I can't even remember where. Oh, I don't want to go that way because uh, crazy bitches up there. I'm pretty sure if I go back to the basement, it's got it. We'll start from the left and go across. And it's not here. Nothing in here. It's not here either. That was just where I did the puzzle. Oh, so it's not that room. It's not that room, I know that much. So we'll go across here. Is it here? No. The only problem is trying to find the damn thing. I know there was a fake wall I had to smash here, but where was it? Bingo! Here it is. Alright. Get your mace or sledgehammer. Uh, with a wooden handle and metal head, this medium sized mace is used for construction, not carpentry. Alright. Secret room. Strange wooden toy hat. Ooh. Got the solvent. Oh, that's for the um, painting with the white paint on it, I think. Let me have a look. A glass bottle filled with a liquid laden solvent. It has a very strong odor. Odor. Yeah, that is it. Okay. Good, good. Anything else here? We can ruin makeup. What was going on in here? Is this the only thing that was in here? Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. No, I guess that's it. But now we can um oops, open and go to the room that has the uh what is it, the paint portrait with the paint on it that's near the start of the game. And use a solvent on that. So if we go this way, gets us to the foyer and then at the foyer we go on this side. The only problem is finding it now. We're still at that clock puzzle. I have no idea how to do the clock puzzle. Whoa. I wasn't there before. A single mangled eye stares at me from the body of the naked doll. Its head busted open. I was not there before. Please be gentle. As long as these dolls don't come alive, I will be happy. The one with the hair probably will. And we are here. Okay. Where are you, solvent? Beneath the layer of white, I think I see a set of numbers. Okay. I better write them down. So we've got four zero seven five. And that's a one, I think. Yep. And we've got six three. Eight nine. 
and two. Right. Now with those numbers, there was a chest that needed a five digit code. I have to try and find that next. Hmm. I don't think it works here. Female mannequin, almost human size. Isn't it? Alive. Am I dead? No, oh god. Not cool. Mm. So now we have to find that chest that has the um, five digit code. see if I'm able to open it now. Well there's two sets of code, two sets of numbers, so I guess we'll try both. 407 51 That didn't work did it? Six three eight nine two. Nothing. All right. So this is just a hunch here, but these pictures are actually here. I think I've got the code. Um, with the numbers, you have two columns, left and right. And I was just looking at these uh, paintings, and they're point like, for example, this is pointing right, so that's a big clue. I'm thinking it's telling me what numbers to use from each lane. So, for example, the old man, he's pointing left, he's facing left, so that'd be the first number left. If I do this, the first number should be 4. So you got 4, yep. Then we've got two rights. So skeleton, uh, oh no, right then left. Right then left, so 4, 3, 7. And you got the hand pointing right. So it's four, three, seven, nine. And then the rat's facing left, so that's one. Four, three, seven, nine, and one. So we'll go over and give that a check. Where do we have to go? Back to the basement. Oh. How lovely, she's right there. Fingers crossed, it didn't work before, but let's try this. 
four, three, seven, nine, and one. Ha! It worked! Yes, it worked. Perfect. Ah, I got the Sirocco key. Yeah, I think there's only one door that uses it. I can't even remember where. Oh, come on. Whoa, she spawned there. And I'm dead. Hmm. How wonderful. Yeah, I'm glad you spawned in front of me. That was fun. Four. Three. Seven. Hopefully this time I don't die by anything. Nine and one. Rocco key. Yeah, can I actually get back up to the top without getting killed by her? That would be lovely. Good. Now I just have to find out where to put the key. And I think there was only one door in the whole game that has it. First, I want to save. Skiroko door, where the hell would that be? Oh shit, I don't want to run into air again. Is it down here? No, I don't think so. So isn't that... Was here. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> oh. They must uh, if you use lances like this for jousting. What on earth is it doing here? Okay, I do not like that at all. Never understood what haunted helmets were for. I don't even want to go in there. Helmets, nothing else. If I go in there, I'm dead, aren't I? Well, I'd unlock, so... Oh. That leads back to the main hall. Okay. Okay, these knights, I don't know what's going on here. Stunning suit of gold plated armor. I can hold the sharp axe in its hands, but its grip's too tight, I can't release it. Mm. Buttons on the pedestal there. Eh? Maybe that, um. No, I don't think it'd be that sun. If I push the button. The west, I mean south. Yeah, I got a feeling this is what this was for earlier in the game. How we got that um, directional chart. West, south, we need southeast. So that one. And then northeast. That one. Huh. I heard some lock triggering in the middle of the room. Got the axe. And what do I use that for? That elapsed very sharp in spite of its antiquity. She's hovering around there somewhere. So now that I have the battle axe, what in the world am I supposed to do with that? Hmm. 
Oh, the first thing I'm doing is saving. I can't believe I got that puzzle on the first try. I'm glad I wrote that down, actually. So now... I to find out where we can use it, actually. Nothing. Maybe I have to go back outside again. She's a fool.
Maybe. Bingo! We have a path to go. A very dark path to go. This ancient ceramic vase doesn't seem to fit in with the surreal painting on the wall. Broken ceramic vase. There's some nice artwork on the wall behind it. Okay, so I have to push these statues onto the right markings. Ugh. So now I have to go check the markings of the statues that were down here, which are probably a million miles away. Oh boy, this one's a doozy. Yeah, but I have to write all that down if I can in my notebook. So what do we got if I can somehow remember what the statues are like? that's looking out at sea or whatever it is. One the triangle. And the last one has wings, that's easy to remember. That one is like a hook looking. Okay. <clears throat> now we have to get back there. changed. How wonderful. Well, they should be similar, I hope. So the first one is kind of both arms in like a sort of hug. If I move that over I won't be able to... Okay, both arms in a hug goes to the X. Can I move it or won't it let me? No. Well, that's disappointing. Boy, what's going on here? Are these changing based on what I pushed from outside or something? Because they're not moving at all. What about the door? Unlocks. Uh... All right, it's back in this hole. 
But this puzzle is definitely moving. Oh boy. Oh god. I guess if I do it like it's supposed to do. That should be down. So if I move that one down with the wings. Well it's got his arms on the side is the X. I don't know how that's even going to work. Thing is I had to move these out the way. Oh, he's in the other parts, I guess. I'll try that wings one, moving it down one. can't move them. I can't push it in that direction. Well, one with wings, I have to move down, so... Plus I have to match it with what's in the other room. Which I'm guessing is what's going to have to happen. I'm just going to have a quick look, see if it moves. Has it moved at all? No. So yeah, I need to match it with them, I'm guessing, so... That one actually has to be up. One with the X. That's the first one that has to be right. The circle has to be left. Oh, that looks like it's flexing. Or the C looking one. That would be that one, maybe. Oh boy. I can't even tell. That's down. I hope that's right. Um. Key, that's this one, has to be left. And the triangle has to be up. So, what was that fork looking one? Up. Yeah, good. Okay, let's go check that if we can influence it. Alright, let's see here. The X, that has to be the right. Circle has to be on the left. Yep, that's good. Uh, triangle has to be up. The moon has to be down. Key, no, yeah, key shape, that has to be left, so that's good. The fork has to be up. It worked. Aha, excellent. Another bishop piece. I still have to find out what my axe can be used for, though.